Hello, how's everybody doing today? So in class, uh, you've been talking about um, what's needed for a combustion reaction. And so again, those three things that we need for a combustion reaction are uh, going to be a fuel source, uh, oxygen, or the oxidizer, right? And then also the source of flame. And so today, what we've got for you is uh, kind of showing that. And so in this uh, container right here, we have some methanol. And so we have methanol. And um, then we have our oxidizer or oxygen. And then for any combustion reaction, our um, two products are going to be uh, carbon dioxide and water. Okay, And then normally I would have you balance this, so uh, go ahead and take some time and balance it. But I'll leave that up there and you guys can uh, play with that as I am going to be going through the rest of it. So um, again, methanol is going to be our fuel source and then our oxidizer, oxygen, it's already prepped for us in this container. And then I have our fuel source. And so I'm just going to put some methanol in here. And then what I'm accomplishing right now is vaporizing that methanol a little bit. So, so it isn't just sitting at the bottom, and I'm going to shake it up so it can uh, get uh, mixed up with the oxygen and be vaporized in there. And so because, again, whenever we're doing a combustion reaction, that fuel has to be next to that oxidizer. And so if I have all of the fuel sitting down there at the bottom, it's going to uh, not interact with that oxygen as rapidly. And so it's not going to have as spectacular of a reaction that we're looking for here. And so as I said, here's our fuel source or our uh, spark. And then this is perfect because you see it's, it's uh, as the reaction happened, all of the oxygen was removed from the container, right? And so there was a void created. And so there at the end, when you heard it pulsing, you might not have been able to see it with the lights going on, but you probably heard it. The pulsing was there was a void created, and so as that was leaving the container and it was pulling more oxygen in, it was continuing that reaction. So again, you need those two things, right? So obviously the fire was already in there, and then as the oxygen was removed from the container from the reaction and it was replaced with carbon dioxide and water, it pulled more oxygen in there to continue that reaction. That was what the pulsing was going on. Okay, cool. So that was really awesome, right? You probably want to see it again. So let's, let's do it again. Why not? OK? So let me get that match out of there. And as I'm doing this, remember to think about you know, why this happened, OK? And so here we go with our methanol. Again, this is our fuel source. And don't forget, we need that oxidizer, right? And so remember I said last time, I mixed it up. Wanted to vaporize that methanol as much as possible so it could uh, get next to those oxygen molecules and so we could have a more spectacular reaction, right? OK, cool. So obviously, we have our fuel source. Oh, and then here is our source of energy with the fire. Okay. Oh, come on. Wait a second, what happened? Well, remember we need those three things, right? But because I had just done that reaction, this container is filled with that carbon dioxide still. It hasn't had a chance to pull enough oxygen in there for that reaction to happen again. So again, it's filled with that carbon dioxide. And in order to make sure this reaction happened again, I would have to go and 
get some pure oxygen and force that into the container because, again, it takes a while for that transfer to happen with the carbon dioxide that was already in there. So again, don't forget, whenever we're doing these reactions, because that carbon dioxide was replacing that oxygen in the container, that's why that reaction didn't happen, OK? So thank you very much for your time. Hope you have a great day, and uh, have fun in uh, chemistry.